Holy sh! Check out the Wandered Twerky Pack from Wandered. Chase Reeves Reviews a Pack. Chase Reeves Reviews. Chase Reeves Reviews. You guys, I have here the 21 liter and the 31 liter Perverky Packs from Wandered. They don't use, they don't like, <laughs> they don't like vowels. But they have an A in Wandered, but then they don't have any vowels anywhere else. It's like ancient Hebrew that way. First things first, if you are an urban photographer, it's like good night, good night, goodbye. You can click the link down below, you're gonna wanna buy this bag. Second of all, if you want an urban or street appeal in your look with tech organization, good night, good night, bye bye. Bye-bye. Click the link in the description. Bye-bye. You know, no bag is going to change your life necessarily, but this one, this one might enable you to do some things that you've been waiting to do for a long time. That's why I love bags. Bags kind of enable us. They enable our lives in some ways when we live with some intention. But never buy a bag until you know what it does, what it's like, and if it's the right thing for you. That's what this video is for. You're gonna see exactly what these bags are like. I want you to see if this bag is the right one for you and also if you should go with the 21 or the 31. I'm going to be evaluating it by three use cases, daily carry, urban photographer, and uh, single bag travel. So look forward to that. And before we jump into it, I just wanna say that this company wandered Wandered has a, a new Kickstarter right now that's just about to end. So if you're just seeing this video when it comes out, check out the link in the description to see their new Hexaduffel backpack, which is looking dope. Okay, I'm gonna put one of these away because it's sort of crowding my space. And I wanna talk about the materials of this bag. What is it made of? Is it gonna last us? Are the zippers gonna break? Are the straps gonna break? What are the things that are gonna fall apart on this bag, if any? You know, with our materials in a bag, we want it to look nice, we want it to feel nice. You know, feel is a big deal. <laughs> That rhymes. We want it to look nice, we want it to feel nice. We want it to last uh, a long time. And then we also want it to be able to handle the weather. So let's see how this bag does. First of all, this material right here, it's almost like, it's like the material that a uh, that a dinghy, like a wall, like one of those boats, you know, like inflatable, like dinghy boats are made out of. Not the cheap ones you get at a Safeway or Albertsons. I don't know what you have where you're from, Tesco. But it's sort of like a thick, almost rubberized feel. This is called tarpaulin. It's waterproof. Doesn't let water in, it's basically rubber. Then the other main material on the bag on the top here, this roll top part, as well as the bottom, is this nylon dobby, D-O-B-B-Y. I'm not sure what exactly it means. It feels like a ballistic nylon, similar to the things that like the airbags are made out of. Uh, it feels nice and robust. With our straps here, we've got that same sort of nylon. Oh, this is just webbing actually. And then by the way, this is a great little magnet. I wish the magnet was a little bit stronger. I find that it's kind of easy just to pull off, but it does its part. It's uh, it's nice and it's more. I, I follow, what I'll say is it's nice. Uh, it, it's not quite as nice as you'd like it to be when you're actually carrying it. When you're like when the honeymoon wears off and you're like, oh my god, there's a magnet there, and then when you're just like, yeah, it's a magnet. It's a magnet. What what about it? You know, you, it's it, it's like a little bit. I wish it was stronger, but magnet is a killer touch here. Way better than having like a push together. You know what I'm talking about? On this thing, it has these two little magnets just clips right together. Solid, solid feeling on that. Then on the back, we've got all of this molded padding, okay? This is our laptop is right behind here. Nice, big, thick molded padding with some channels of air and stuff like that. Little secret pocket. I'll get into all the pockets here in a second. Similar sort of padding, uh, softer on, on the, the straps here. And you'll see the straps have this big, technical look like very robust and where they're all you know sealed up together and, and stitched together there's just I mean it feels nice and solid I can't tell exactly what they're doing to be honest because it's sort of hidden back there but this molded padding is is nice it's bulky I would say these straps are kind of bulky but that adds to sort of the longevity of these materials, I think. Now, this top is a roll top, so there's no zipper here. There is a metal clip that uh, appears to be custom made for them simply by nature of the fact that it has their logo etched into it. Nice and solid. This thing isn't going anywhere. That's not gonna break. But then you've got zippers. Get in there, you son of a. You got zippers all over the bag. 
YKK zippers with a water resistant seal. You can't submerge this sucker, please don't, especially not with your camera gear in there. But you've got these nice zippers. One of the things I wish, there's also a good big zipper around the back where the laptop stuff is. Nice bigger teeth on this one. This one has some bigger teeth. This is like probably, I don't know, I can't tell, but it's probably more like an eight. Let me just look really quick. Wet your appetite a little with the clamshell open, but let's see what we're looking at. Yeah, it's a YKK8 there, which means that most of the other zippers on the bags, on the bag are a six. And I don't, I don't like that. I don't think that was a great choice because for instance, this one, when this bag is packed out, it's a lot of pressure on this zipper. Same thing with the, uh, there's a quick access pocket right here. We're gonna get in all the pockets, don't worry. It's smaller, you don't really need it, but if you, if you did, pack the crap out of the top of the bag and you needed to cinch it down, all that pressure is gonna be on those little teeth of that YKK number eight. It's good that it's YKK, but maybe, a no, or number six rather, but go, going f from a six to maybe an eight there might be better, but that would increase the price of the bag and stuff like that. And it's already getting up there towards the $200 bag. It's 187 at the time of writing. Writing? I'm a writer. Okay, so. I like the the feel of these things. I like the look of it too. It's kind of cool. It's a little technical. It's a little, maybe it's a little more technical than I'd like, a little less street than I'd like, but it's still like beggars can't be choosers because this is, I like the look and feel of this bag. So the materials as I see them are solid. Little bit of like, hey, maybe if we had a stronger zipper, at least on this big one, it's such a big panel. And if your whole bag is packed out, it can be, there can be a lot of stress and strain on that. But my take on the materials is extremely solid results here. Before I go too far in this video, I just wanted to call attention to some accessories they have. Look at this little thing. Down on the bottom here, there's a hidden compartment for accessories. First of all, you have a, uh, 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 you know, a water thingy, a water thingy. You know where I realized that this could be really, really useful? If you ride a motorcycle, <laughs> If you ride a motorcycle and you have a laptop and a camera inside your bag, you would love to have something like this on it. Really, really solid for that. They also sell uh, these little straps that can attach to uh, these little doojobbies on the bag. You've got a handful of these little connectors all over the place here so that you can throw your strap in through them you can cinch it tight. You can put a skateboard in there if you're super street, bro. They sell them in packs of two, and there's you can so you can run two across here. You can run them down here. There's also a feature. This is kind of wild. Where hold on, wait for it. There's also a feature where you can put those. You can attach them inside here, between here and there, so that when you're you're wearing this on the front and this falls down so you have this like workspace right here on your back. It's kind of interesting. Do you know what I'm saying? If you attached it like this, it would work like this and you can get to all your camera gear and stuff like that. Again, I'll be showing you all these pockets in a moment. See you over there just like, hey man, show me those pockets, dude. I mean, that means that was, what's, in the, what's in the secret pocket in the back? Would you show me, just, just unzip it, just unzip it really quick. So you've got the accessories of the water, the, why am I, why am I, rain jacket, rain slicker, whatever. You've got some of these guys that go, uh, the, the accessory straps that go all over the place, really nice. One other accessory they sell is a hip pack. Okay, so if you wanna, if you're planning on getting like, for instance, the 31 liter bag, which you can load down with a bunch, bunch of stuff in it. it. Might be nice to attach these suckers and get on that love handle support and just work it through the hills. Just go through the hills. Mm, so secure. Hip pack, another accessory. Also, check this out. This is where all you photographers out there start to kind of lose your cool. This is their pack that's made purpose built to fit inside of this container. I will show you that you will wait for that. Wait for that. But it's got some padding all around and it has a little door for quick access that I bet if you do your math, you're gonna realize that it's gonna integrate with this in a pretty neat way. Comes with some separators in there so that you can, I keep wondering if this is gonna fall over. What do you think? It's doing pretty good. 
It's doing pretty damn good. You know how good it is when a bag stands up? You don't, I don't have to tell you. If, you. if you're subscribed to my channel, you know how much I like this. If you're not subscribed to my channel, you should know that I make videos like this all the time. So there's a good chance you don't like this video, but in the off chance that there you do, welcome home. <laughs> like You're gonna like following along. Subscribe. So this I'll show you a little bit in more in depth, but you basically get the sense of it. There's nothing more really sexy than this. You can customize this stuff according to your needs. It's kind of a pain in the ass to customize, but if you're using bigger camera gear like lenses and stuff like that, you don't have a lot of choices. You have to be able to fit your lens and shit in there. And this is gonna help you do that as much as it can. Another one of those accessories you can pay a bit more for and get because it integrates with the bag. Okay, let's talk about some pockets, guys. First and foremost, let's start with the one you'll end up using probably the most, the quick access pocket. This is where you're gonna throw, where I throw at least, my headphones, uh, my sunglasses in a case if I need to throw them into something. It's got a little felt lining on the inside, nothing fancy, little water resistant seal on the top, okay? On the zipper, nice. Killer. It's just like what you need in a bag is the quick access pocket. Now I'm gonna show you that secret pocket on the back. It's a perfect size, basically purpose built for a passport. And one of the things I'll show you here is there's this little elastic uh, bit that you can just absolutely shove the zipper down in there so it's actually hard to get to. It just opens right up. You've got a little mesh guy and a little passport size dealio. Really killer, you know, if you're traveling around, that, that this kind of thing I'm seeing in a lot more bags these days, and it, it's like, it's useful. I'm just trying to push that zipper all the way down in there to see what it's like. It's, yeah, when it's in there, it's like hard to get. It's like you can make your life as hard as you want. But you're also making it hard for all those banditos in, you know, Mexico City or uh, Atlanta. All right, check this out. There is a nice little hidden pocket right here in the back, okay? It, uh, they have this strap on the side, which you can use for like compression or hanging stuff off the bag. And the zipper goes on the other side of it. Another place where it's like, okay, we might not want to put thicker, you know, zippers on there. Cause if I have a jacket or a, something that I put in here and I'm ratcheting that down, all of that pressure is coming on those zipper teeth. And it's a little YKK6, if that, yeah, it's, yeah. I don't think I'll be able to get in there to see what kind it is. But it's just a tiny little like, like key pocket. Imagine just something to be able to throw your keys in. But what I use it for is my, the stuff that I have that I need to have, but I never want to have to see. I want to be just like, Oh man, you know what would be amazing if I had headphone splitters right now? I'm like, wait a minute, I always have that in my bag. Where is that thing? This is one of my favorite, it's hard to get it in there. By the way, inside it does have like a key hook, a big old ugly key hook, like a big old cheap ugly key hook. It's sort of a weird key hook. But, uh, but it's in there and uh, so you could do that. I put this guy in there with like, I have like a little like mini wallet with, with like wet wipes and I think I have like 20 bucks and uh, <laughs> my wife lost her ID one time so she got a new one and then we found the ID. So like I always have one of her IDs with me just in case we go to a bar and she didn't remember her purse. It's like, oh babe, I got you covered. I just happen to have my huge bag with me. I don't know, I don't know, just hopeful. It doesn't take much room. I throw it right in there. It's a tight fit. Really, it would be perfect to use just for your keys and stuff like that. But if you can fit like your melatonin and chapstick and dental floss for when you get a piece of that steak stuck in your mouth or something, this is pretty dang killer to just have stuck in there. It's there when you need it and it's never in your way when you don't. So I'm just following around the outside of the bag, okay? We also have this big flat pocket for, you guessed it man, your papers, your business papers. Get my papers out of there, my papers. Business papers. I just put my big ass moleskine, moleskine notebook in there because I fancy myself creative, you know what I mean? But it's just a sort of lined pocket for documents, you know, legal size paper, a little bit bigger would fit fine in there. Um, one of the bummers about this bag is there's no real place to put your pens. If you just like, there's no like just pen holder. If you need to put like two pens in a thing, uh, you would need to put a, have like a pen pouch. You probably, I would probably be putting it right in here or inside the larger cavity. It's our business papers, man. All right, then we head back to the back where we've got our laptop. I've already showed you how this opens 
wide open. Killer, killer. Okay, and here you have got, let's see if I get this for you. 15 inch laptop sleeve, 15 inch. I don't know if it's gonna fit your Dell something something, but 15 inch, you've got a, uh, a uh, an iPad sort of case as well, an iPad case. Here's my iPad Pro, my, the big one, and it fits in like a glove. Pulls right out, I got my guy. Uh, that's pretty killer, honestly. That's, it's just a great, it's simple, it's very simple. They used to have one that has these strippy, flappy, these Velcro-y guys, instead, you could just pull this in if you want to with the TSA, you could just do that, but they're gonna go like, can you pull your laptop out of your bag, sir? Can you pull it out, sir? Sir, we need you to put your laptop in the bucket, in the bin, sir. I misspoke before, it's not a bucket, it's a bin. Sir, and they're all, all these bags are like, it opens wide open for TSA, and I've never had a TSA agent that didn't go like, sir, you need to put your laptop in the thing, sir. Hey, before I forget, this water bottle pocket, I missed that one. Uh, water bottle, and then, it zips up. It has a little like zipper so it lies flat. Pretty great. Back to this guy. Now you will notice there are some pockets in here, some zippers. Like what the hell does that go to? The truth is this is just access to the main cavity of the bag that you can also access through the roll top, all right? There are multiple ways to get in there. I keep my laptop charger just in this big one because I can get access to it through this pocket right here. Goes all the way down and around. Hello. Hello there. So it goes, by the way, on this flap here, this flappy dappy, there's a little zipper. You've got like, it's kind of like a little compartment and then inside are some hidden elastic waistband underwear style pockets. Perfect size for camera batteries. Basically every camera battery I've ever seen. The, the, the larger ones, not the little tiny, like tiny brick guys, but just the, the larger ones fit perfectly right inside there. Looks like it has space for three of those. Just kind of nice, a little, little do jobby they done for you there. Cause that pocket is really made for, you know, it's designed for quick access to your camera stuff. And so you throw your little, your little thing right in there, your, you know, your, your little discs, your little discs, your little disc. Is this, am I talking down to you? I don't know. What do you call your little discs? Okay, so one of the other things about this, get rid of this stuff, is there is a divider right here that you can remove, okay? It is just Velcroed on one side of the bag and then you remove it and it lies flat. One of the things that's beneficial about this is, look at this, you've got two containers. Like you can, you can have whatever, a bunch of clothes that you put in here you zip that up, you never have to worry about it, but then the top of the bag might have your, you know, pens and your little, I don't know, your hard drive, your paper or your, your uh, you wouldn't put paper in there. You'd put sweaters or underwear. You might need spare underwear. I don't know who you work with, okay? But for me personally, when I use this as a daily carry, I break that sucker down, break it down. You're breaking me down. I break it down. Oi, I'm really destroying this bag. And that way I have complete access through here. I never use these pockets basically at all. I just access through the roll top, throw my sweater all the way in and through the side pouch, get my, uh, you know, charger from the bottom of the unit. Okay, let me zip this up and I'll show you accessing that pocket from the roll top itself, which I really haven't shown you yet. This is one of the huge bonuses on this bag. Let's watch how high it rolls, okay? It adds like another, they say another five liters to the bag. What's a liter? What's a liter? Three sweaters? One sweater? How big of a sweater are we talking about? The truth is it makes for a lot more room in the bag. And so if you wanted to fill that up all the way and just do it like this, that's one of the great things about this guy is this, there's all these places you could do it and it can be that high if you needed it to be. You know, like if you remember the Joey backpack, one of the, the things they had in the commercial there was like, you know when you're out and about and you're at the circus or the carnival with your girlfriend and she plays one of those games and she wins a big teddy bear and she's like, why don't you bring the teddy bear home for me? Why don't you bring it home for me? Now, because your bag is expandable, you can bring it home. And with the Perverky pack, you can do that. You can fit the teddy bear. Bring the teddy bear home and make your girlfriend happy. Make your happy girlfriend is a happy you. You know that, right? You make your girlfriend happy, your life's better. And this goes for all of us. 
Even people without girlfriends. Now, like any roll top, you put your you put your stuff in there, it's like, oh Jesus, where did you go? Where is that damn thing? Right? It's big, it's big and it's dark in there. They did not line it with, uh, a lot of bad companies now are lining the inside of dark cavernous spaces with bright uh, bright fabrics because they actually do help reflect the light inside and you can you can see a little bit better. This is, even if they did, you still wouldn't be able to see the bottom of the bag here. Again, this is the 21 liter. The 31 liter is in fact 10 liters larger. Everything is the same as the as this one, it's just a little bit bigger. And that means in the end, you can fit like eight more sweaters in it, depending on the kind of sweater. Maybe maybe only like five, four or five more, four sweaters. You'd probably fit three wool sweaters and like 45, you know, little cardigans. Okay, let's talk about what this thing is like as a daily carry. I think when we have a daily carry, uh, we're, we're thinking about a few different categories, right? One of them is like, how does it look? Is it the right look? Is it, am I gonna be able to walk into a business meeting with this? Or am I gonna be able to walk into the coffee shop? Or do, is this, does this stylistically fit me the way that I want it to? I think we also think about comfort. Does it, is it comfortable? Comfortable, you know, comfortable. Is it comfortable, right? And we also think about access and organization. Can we access our things that we need? Specifically thinking of like, for me personally, I get to the cafe, it's the laptop. Laptop's numero uno. Secondary to that is headphones. Tertiary to that is my laptop charger. First of all, look, you can tell on the look on this thing. If you're liking this, then you like this. If you're not liking this, then you don't. If you're fine with this, then you're fine with this. It's a kind of like a little bit urban, a little bit street, a uh, little bit tech you've got these big old suckers that are gonna be on your shoulder. Okay, so it's like these big, robust, thick shoulder things. They're comfortable, they're very comfortable, uh, but but uh, but they're thick and they're big. So look to me feels like it's a, you know, a bit of a street aesthetic, a little, a little technical, a little bit millennial, a little young and hip and, and cool. And it's also feels robust and, and, uh, and like it's not gonna break down. The comfort, as I mentioned, is very solid. The comfort here on this bag, is it's a lot of comfort. The padding on the back, the air channels, it all feels very, like when you, you can cinch the crap out of this thing on you and you feel like you're, you're ready to get shot out of a cannon. Walking around, I did not notice any fatigue or like wear spots from this thing. Organization and accessibility. First of all, the laptop, killer. Laptop is awesome. You sit down, you go into that compartment. I normally just zipped open the top and grabbed my thing that I needed, which was my laptop. Second of all, you do have lots of external pockets. I was always getting into my notebook. Um, I could get into the main compartment this way to get my charger, which was fine. Cause normally I would just had that on the bottom with a sweater on top of it or something like that. Nice water bottle. It's kind of always great to have a water bottle around with you. Water bottles. So ultimately, I liked the organization. One of the things that you should know about this, for those of you who cycle to work or who uh, need to have your gym clothes with you, you could obviously fit that stuff in here. Your extra pair of shoes, your rain gear, your whatever, you can fit that in here. It's a nice, expandable bag for that. The downsides for daily carry for me are really kind of like if it doesn't, if it's not the look you want, like you're kind of shit out of luck on that one. But uh, it's like to me, it's like, I like it, but I'm, there's like, I also kind of like, yeah, it's not like perfect. I, I don't know what perfect would be. I mean, the, the, like a, a GORUCK GR1 or something like that, or the little bullet packs, like that's a little closer to perfect for me. Technical, but mellow. It's not very understated. The shininess, the sleekness of this material, it, it, it says a little bit more than that to me. So one of the downsides for you might be the look. Another one might be the bulkiness and the bigness. It is a large bag. You put it on and it is, it is kind of large. It's it's it it's expandable and it's it's bulky more than anything else even though the form factor itself isn't that big it just kind of looks it kind of works like it's big and bulky so for me for example the 31 liter is definitely too large to use as a daily carry the 21 however is 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 great i did like using this bag a lot even though for me it's not the perfect look i love that i could fit everything that is exp expandable i could i it I mean, truthfully, in my daily carry, I need something small like the Manal Daily or the Air Fitback. I've done reviews on both of those. So this is a little overkill, but it was also like not an issue at all. So that's my take on the daily carry. You know how you carry daily. You know what you need. This is probably going to get you covered there. 
Now let's talk about the photographers out there. I'm gonna pull this up. My 31, I got decked out in my photography stuff, okay? So for urban photographer carry stuff, I think you want a few things. Number one, can it carry all the things that you need it to? Uh, is your stuff protected and safe, number two? Number three, is it the right kind of look that you want to have? And I think obviously we're with any of this, we wanna know that it's comfortable, but as we're adding on this very specific technical use of carrying your photography stuff, maybe some people are more willing to sacrifice the comfort for the sake of the look, while others are really not able to sacrifice that. What's good about this is comfort is killer. So you can fit a ton of gear in this and the comfort is strong, especially if you go and add that hip pack to, you can see those little those little ribbons that they have down here. You can add that fit pack if you're really decked out with gear, if you have a bunch of stuff that you're carrying. One of the big benefits of this bag is it's not just a camera bag, right? So I have my camera gear down here, taking up the bottom you know, half of the bag, basically. Then I have tons of room for my personal stuff. If I needed to go traveling, then I could easily, if I was doing a weekend away in Joshua Tree or something, where I would just like be wearing the same shorts or whatever, like, you can like look at how much space is in here. So this could literally be my photography gear down here at the bottom and then all that crap is that I need for travel. So that's a very, very cool use case for this bag and a, and a benefit for it because a lot of other photography bags are not gonna be able to do that kind of thing for you. Okay, let's show you how I've got the camera gear set up here. I've installed their camera unit into this bag. There's a handful of things you have to do to get it locked in and get it totally, you know, set up in here. I'll let you figure that out on your own. That's not what this video is for. But then once we do, we've got uh, just those kinds of dividers. They send you a bunch of different dividers, a couple big ones and uh, a bunch of little ones that you can separate your stuff. I've got like my little uh, Panasonic GH2, old cameras, hard drive, stuff like that, a little GX7 uh, and just some gear. I don't have, I don't carry camera gear. I don't, I'm not a photographer person. I take photos with my iPhone 7 Plus because that thing has gotten really damn good. So you've got your stuff that you organize in here, okay? Now, the benefit for this that a lot of you people might really dig is gonna be this thing right here. It's gonna be being able to access your gear right here, okay? So you can just reach in, grab your camera, and go for it. It's especially this thing, right? Oh look, let's take a picture. I don't need to carry my camera around with me all the places. I can just go like this and blada bing, blada boom. Ha, <laughs> okay, let's get back to our trip. Like that's the killer app here. You can have it just right there. And then, oh look, you carry your bag around and then, oh yeah, look at that. And you can get to it pretty quick. That's a big deal. Your stuff is safe. I would say it's not as safe as some other bags, but it's a lot safer than other bags, right? So it's up to you if it feels safe enough for you. To me, it absolutely does. But the real takeaway here is you get to have a photography oriented bag that can fit all of your other stuff. So for example, with the 31 liter, I could easily do a week or two away with just this bag, even if I was doing pro video or photo stuff. There's more videos out there. If you're really interested in the photography element of things, I encourage you to go check out more perverky videos out there. Okay, let's go back to our 21 for this one because I like this for a very specific reason I'll share with you in a second. How is this bag for single bag travel? How is it? With these roll top kinds of bags, we can fit a lot of stuff, but what's it like to really travel with? All right, let me show you just how much stuff we can actually fit into this sucker, okay? All right, here's how I normally pack. Whenever I go anywhere, even if it's like a whole month, it's one of these big ones from Tom Ben. I'll put the exact link to this exact one in the, uh, the description below this video. I carry a medium sized, just generic, this is from REI, but you could just, just use anything. I have one medium size, this is basically normally my shirts. Put a few shirts in there, but most, most of them in here. And then 
my toiletry kit. So this is what I pack wherever I go. It's just those three things. That's my clothing stuff. Then I need my computer, sometimes my iPad Pro, definitely my charger, headphones, and things like that. So let's see how this fits. What I like is this Tom Bin one fits into this sucker just like snug as a bug, to be honest. Almost a little too snug through the mouth here, the mouth. But then it's in there and I can kind of push it down a bit and it fills in, nice. Then I can put this one in like this. It actually fits just like so. Let's get that sucker in there. Okay, so we're just up to here on the bag with that stuff now, okay? Then I can throw my toiletry bag right on top of that. Basically, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, cool your jets, mister. Basically, I have filled up to there on the bag right now. And I've got this, <laughs> and this much more to go. So I could easily just go like, okay, here's my trip. I've got my laptop and my tech in the back. My water bottle goes in the side here. Boom, there's my bag with all my stuff in it. Now, this is very minimal. I travel really minimally, right? I like that. This is, I, care, I, I collect minimal travel bags, single bag travel bags. You know I'm about this. If you don't, you should understand that there's a way to travel with one bag and that bag, like Rick Steves says, St. Rick says you may travel. I love Rick Steves. Rick Steves is one of my heroes. Like Rick, if you're out there, I love you, brother. You put that bag underneath the seat in front of you. You don't have to fight for the overhead space at all. You get used to that. You do it one time, it feels like freedom. If you, you'll do it for months and maybe years and one day you'll go like, I'm gonna start checking bags. That's fine. This isn't like a status thing. I just personally feel so much freer and lighter when I travel like that. So I'm always looking for a bag that is great for traveling like that. This is awesome. Now, <laughs> let's say we wanted to add more to the bag. Like one of the things we normally need to carry is a jacket. Well, what I typically do with the jacket is I throw it into something like this. I just have it on the side of the bag, clipped in with something like this. It can be kind of annoying, I'm like trying to do this in the video right now. It can be kind of annoying, but that's normally what I do. Another thing that's kind of nice is like, wait, it's kind of good when you can have a spare pair of shoes. Like sometimes you want to wear boots, but have like a, a smaller shoe to take with us. Well, let's just add them on there. Okay, do that. So those fit in there and we're still at this level of the bag. We're still just like, not over the handles, just like kind of barely have changed anything just by adding those two things. And yet that changes a lot of how bags can be, to how it can feel like to travel. Just having an extra pair of shoes can, can be nice. And a lot of bags are a pain in the ass to try to fit shoes into. Now, just for shits and giggles, let's see if we can fit another one of those big Tom bins. I mean, this is literally like, if I wanted to go like weeks without laundry, I could add another one of these to there. I'm gonna pull the shoes out just, just cause I don't know if this will work. Okay, so we've got it just like right at the mouth there. Let's see if we can actually close it. It has a nice little lip. And then, I mean, I think we will be able to. Yeah. And then we can close it. It's like right at its, so, look at that. <laughs> That's sort of awkward, like really awkward looking. When you put that on, uh, I don't know if, if the airlines would even let, would let you carry it on. I'm sure they probably would probably wouldn't be able to fit in the seat in front of you. Comes up above my head. It's nice, but it's nice. You can just sit back and sort of take a nap on it. And it's like, it'll stay together. Like it stays together. And I haven't even cinched it down much, but you can, let's see. You can really cinch it down with this sucker. So what I'm saying is, this is the 21 liter. This is the 21, the 31 liter is literally bigger than this. Tons of space, tons, tons, tons of room for what you might need to travel with. And it's a comfortable, urban style, streetish kind of looking bag. And here's the kicker, you ready? You get to the place that you go. It's like, oh, we checked into the hotel or the Airbnb, or might get to my buddy's house, right? We're going for a shoot because I've been working at an advertising agency and 
We're going to do a thing, but I'm also gonna have fun. We're in Austin, we're gonna party, we're gonna whatever. I get there, I pull my packing cubes out, because they're packing cubes. They're easy to pull out. Then, I just zip this sucker up, or roll it up, and I've got a pretty dope daily carry bag. It's really hard to find a bag that functions well as a, as a travel bag, but then also can work as your daily carry bag when you're there. For instance, Manal. The Manal carry-on bag is one of my favorite bags for travel because you can fit a ton of stuff in it and it's sleek. It's really sleek how it travels. But when you get to the place you're going, it's if you pull your stuff out of it, it's got this great tech pocket on the back with all this organization, more organization here than even this one. And, uh, and, and, and it just is frumpy and floppy and you can use it as a daily carry, you totally could, but it's not the right look if you care about that sort of thing. This is still kind of a big bag, but it's doable. It's really doable. So as a daily carry, this is the 21. If you have any worries at all, go for the 31. If you're a bigger body type at all, go for the 31 if you have those worries as well. This is kind of like for the, not for daily carry, but for single bag travel, like kind of a crusher right here. <coughs> One little note here, you know, a lot of us, we get worried about buying something because it's like, well, this is close to $200 bag. It'll probably get past that if you're doing the accessories like the camera or the straps or stuff like that. So how do I know it's gonna be, it's one thing to see on video, which is obviously a lot more than any bag manufacturer does in on their website. Like, have you, like, who are these bag companies? Like, why on earth they go like, just pictures and words about it, like, just like, it is a good bag. You can tell by it is made with material. It's hard to buy bags online. Do you know what I mean? So one of the things that they do to make it kind of simple, they have a return policy, 30 days. You buy it from their website. I'll put my link below. When you use that link, I get a couple bucks, but that takes you to purchase from their website instead of an Amazon or anywhere else that, it, that you can maybe purchase it. Uh, you get 30 days, check out the bag, don't scuff it or wear it too much, and then they'll take it back. You can do a return with them. Even if you have to pay for shipping back, like, it's better to know that it is the right bag or the wrong bag. That's just kind of, that's just kind of peace of mind. They also have a warranty. So, like, if something breaks and it shouldn't have, uh, they'll, they'll replace the bag for you or they'll fix it. Um, if it breaks because you like you were in a 300 degree room and the, it melted or something like that, if it breaks because you were like using it to tra to tow a jeep or <laughs> from another jeep, I don't know. Like then they're gonna be like, that's not how you, that's not what it's for. Like that's the stupid thing. To, I mean, it's a fine thing to do, but it's just not a thing that's gonna get us to cover your warranty. So pretty pretty okay warranty from these guys and pretty okay return policy from them. I've seen other companies that have a much better better commitment to their ship, but like at the same time, those bags are normally $300, $400. And this one's like $187 right now. So a very solid, thoughtful bag. It's got the street slash urban sort of appeal kind of look to it, whilst still having tons of organization, accessibility, and technical kinds of stuff. The look, the feel, and what it's like to use are all solid, like great marks across the board. And this whole thing was just put together by a couple long haired dudes in Utah. Pretty dope. If you like this bag, use the link below uh, because it helps my wife let me make more videos. Like right now, it's Friday. It's five o'clock on a Friday. Like I'm literally like a lonely person, but I love bags. And my wife's downstairs. She's, I can hear her unloading the dishwasher. <laughs> you know that? I can hear her and my baby's kind of like whining. But she's like, go, you can do that because if it leads to, you know, a few hundred bucks, like that's great. So when you guys use my link below, I actually get a few bucks. I get to make make more of these reviews. And like, to, to be, it's like the whole thing about make your girlfriend happy. Bring Bring her the, bring her the teddy bear home. When you use that link, you you're basically enabling me to bring the teddy bear home. You might be wondering, still 21 or 31? I would say, you know, if you're worried about fitting enough, then go with the, the 31 after you've seen everything here, because there's a lot you could fit in here. Many of you are just like, well, it could definitely fit what I need. If you have a bigger body size and body type, 
you might feel much more comfortable in the 31. I think this, I wish this was a little bit smaller. I wish this was more like a 15 liter bag, you know, uh, that expanded out to a 20 two liter bag. That would be incredible. So hopefully just seeing the bag, seeing them both on my body, seeing them both like around uh, in my body, my beautiful, beautiful body, uh, helps you make that decision. And then if you haven't yet, my podcast is called The Fizzle Show and my business is called Fizzle.co. Fizzle.co. And what we do is we help independent entrepreneurs make a living doing something that they care about just like the two long-haired dudes in Utah who made this, just like the two Kiwi dudes in Australia, or uh, sorry boys, in New Zealand, that that made Manal, right? Just like, I don't know, wait, show me, a, I need a duo of some ladies. So I need to go like, and if you know of a duo of some ladies who kickstarted a bag, let me know because I need to know. Because I love watching independent manufacturing bloom. And so that's what we talk about at fizzle.co and my podcast fizzleshow.co if you're interested in earning a living doing something that you care about if you're an independent a creative a freelancer of any kind you're who we make stuff for all right y'all let me know if you have any questions in the comment of this video i will be answering them as much as i possibly can thank you for watching thank you so much and i will see you later